My story begins before I was born. My mother went into hospital in Limerick with high blood pressure. The nurses were monitoring my movements and heartbeat. One of them noticed something didn't add up, so they went to get another nurse called Betty, who turned out to be my guardian angel. Betty discovered that my mother was in early labour and that I was in distress. She told my mother that everything was fine to keep her calm. She then went to get Dr Walsh. He came and sent my mother for an emergency C-section. They didn't know that I had exomphalus, which is also known as a valacea, until I was born. I was born premature on the 12th of December 1989 at 10.40am, weighing 3 pounds 3 ounces. My exomphalus contained my liver and intestines. Betty was definitely my guardian angel that day, because if she didn't act as quickly as she did and noticed that I was in distress, I wouldn't be here today. As exomphalus is so rare and with how small I was, they didn't have much hope that I would survive, so I was baptised and confirmed straight away. Little did they know that I was a little warrior who wasn't going to give up. I defied the odds and shocked them all. The day after I was born, I was transferred to Our Lady's Hospital for Sick Children, Crumlin. While I was there, my doctor was Professor Fitzgerald. The nurses there gave me the nickname Bowsy because I was a rogue and I was only happy and quiet when I was in their arms. I stayed there for eight weeks until I was well enough to be transferred down to Limerick where my doctor was Dr Bashir. Just before my second birthday, I went back up to Our Lady's Hospital for Sick Children, Crumlin, for surgery on my tummy. I stayed there for nine days until I was well enough to go home. For my second birthday, I had a special blessing in my local church because I didn't have a christening when I was a baby. I wore a beautiful dress that was made by my godmother. One of my uncles said the special blessing as he is a Salesian priest. Growing up I had a normal childhood I could do everything all the other children could. One downside was throughout my life I was bullied for looking different. Due to the surgery on my tummy I was left with a long scar down my tummy which made me slightly different to others because I don't have a belly button. I would get called inside out girl, a freak, an alien and had some horrendous things said to me. As I got older, it didn't bother me as much. I just thought, is this the best that they could come up with? And I started to feel sorry for them because they were uneducated on the topic. Seven, eight years ago, I wanted to learn more about the condition I was born with and came across one support group that mostly had UK members. And then I found a worldwide support group. I finally felt like I belonged. Growing up, I felt so alone because I didn't know anyone else like me. And I didn't know anything else about the condition. Those groups are amazing. They are not just new friends. They are family. They are always there for you with love, support and guidance. I knew there was no support for parents or adult survivors in Ireland. As the condition is so rare. And I set out to change that. On June 16th, 2015, I created the only Irish Examplus Ovalisil support group. It is a safe space for parents to meet other parents who are going through a similar situation and support each other. They can ask any questions that they have in a safe environment where they'll get all the love and support they need. As for adult survivors, it's somewhere where they can meet someone who is just like them and meet up in person if they want to. On January 17th, 2016, I created the Examphalus Ovalacil Awareness page in the hopes of reaching more families and survivors. I am fortunate to say that it has and I am very proud of both the awareness page and support group. On April 23rd, 2016, I set up my own blog to share my story and raise more awareness for the condition. During the summer of 2016, I was delighted to be asked to be part of Crumlin's Big Book of Memories as they were celebrating Our Lady's Hospital for Sick Children, being open 60 years. Fast forward to now, my health is reasonably good. I have had no issues since related to the exomphalus, bar a bit of scar pain during both pregnancies. My guardian angel Betty has been part of my life all the way through and has gotten to see me become a mother twice. I am proud to share my story and bring hope to parents that their little ones can live a happy, healthy and normal life like I have.